two cabinet members were, quote, ready to support an effort to remove the president from office. That is according to former top FBI lawyer James Baker in a closed-door testimony to Congress last fall. Baker said he was told by senior Justice Department officials that Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein spoke of the two cabinet officials' support. I want to bring in right now Republican Congressman John Ratcliffe from Texas. He is a member of the Homeland Security and Judiciary Committees, as well as Oversight. And, sir, it is good to see you on the program this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning, Maria. Uh, we want to get your take on this story. You are a federal, a former federal prosecutor, Congressman, and we learned some information this week on two fronts. The Senate uh, told us that there was no collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia after two years of, of uh, investigating this. And number two, Andrew McCabe, the former deputy uh, director at the FBI, in an interview with 60 Minutes tonight, said that he launched the investigation into President Trump. Your reaction? Well, as to the collusion issue, the Senate just confirmed what the House and every other uh, investigative committee has found, which is no evidence of collusion. And as you mentioned, Maria, uh, the only person in Washington so far that says they has, have evidence of collusion between uh, Donald Trump and the Trump campaign and Russia is Adam Schiff. And, of course, he says that is evidence that is neither direct evidence or circumstantial evidence, which are the only two types of evidence that exist in the law. So we'll wait on that. But as to the issue of uh, Andy McCabe, um, he may be a disgraced uh, former FBI agent who's been criminally referred for lying, but he's going to make at least one truthful statement in this uh, interview tonight. Many of us have been saying for the last year that senior leaders at the FBI and the Department of Justice have been secretly investigating Donald Trump and trying to remove him from office. Tonight, Andy McCabe will tell you that he and other senior leaders at the Department of Justice and the FBI were secretly investigating Donald Trump and trying to remove him from office. Now, once you get past that one truthful statement, uh, the rest of his story, frankly, has bigger holes in it uh, than the Titanic. Well, I mean, look, we heard from Bruce Orr in that other testimony a couple of weeks ago when he did tell us uh, that, in fact, he met with he met with the Fusion GPS founder uh, as early as August of 2016, uh, and, and we did get that that testimony was quite illuminating in terms of what did go on. It did, and uh, we've gotten a lot of testimony. That, as you pointed out, um, Maria, as a former federal prosecutor, I will tell you that um, as a conspiracy starts to unravel, sometimes the co-conspirators turn on one another, and you get inconsistent testimony. Uh, Bruce Orr's testimony is inconsistent with his boss, Sally Yates. Uh, Annie McCabe's testimony is inconsistent with his boss, Jim Comey. Jim Comey's testimony is inconsistent with his lawyer, Jim Baker. McCabe's testimony is also inconsistent with Rod Rosenstein. So you have all of these things that were taking place, and again, it underscores the point that there were uh, senior officials at the Department of Justice that were uh, the same officials that had undermined uh, and prejudged uh, Hillary Clinton uh, as innocent, prejudged Donald Trump as guilty. Right. Uh, and they were the ones making the decisions in these investigations. So here we are, uh, uh, beginning week one for the new attorney general. He is now in the job, B Bill Barr. Tell us about what you're expecting from him, because people would like to see accountability. And we should point out that Andrew McCabe is doing this interview around his book, but he has already been referred to by the inspector general for criminal charges. Yeah, so let, let's go back to, to Andy McCabe and, and what you're going to hear tonight. One of the things he's going to say is that he started this investigation when Jim Comey got fired on May the 9th because he believed that order may have come from Vladimir Putin and that Donald Trump was acting as an agent of the Russian government in carrying out that order. The problem for Andy McCabe is every newspaper in America reported that eight days later on May 17th of 2017, Andy McCabe was one of four people to walk into the Oval Office and interview with Donald Trump to become the FBI director. So how do you go from, I think you're an agent of the Russian government committing treason, to eight days later, I think you're an agent of the Russian government committing treason, but I'd sure love a job working for you every day. Mm. So this is just part of the challenge that faces Bill Barr. I will tell you, it's an incredible challenge, but he has the opportunity to be perhaps the most consequential attorney general of our lifetime. Uh, because he's going to have the opportunity to try and restore the American people's confidence 
in a Justice Department that has been torn apart by the darkest chapters that have been written under the uh, Comey, Lynch, uh, McCabe era of the Justice Department and its component agencies like the FBI. Uh, I would certainly hope that, uh, that in engaging in doing that, the first order of business for Bill Barr would be to address the byproduct of those senior leaders at the FBI and the Department of Justice that were trying to undermine uh, the American election of 2016, and that byproduct is the Mueller investigation. Right. If, if Bill Barr's first action, Maria, is not to bring in Bob Mueller and say, you know, the American public has been consumed with this for two years and this idea of collusion between Donald Trump and the Russians. After two years, either you have evidence of it or you don't. And if you do, let's see it. And if you don't, let's make that clear to the American people so all of this can end and we can move forward with what the Department of Justice should be doing. Yeah, but in the meantime, you've got people like Adam Schiff saying they're not going to slow down. They're going to expand the investigations into President Trump right now. 